Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hey, Bachelor in Paradise, are Dean and Kaylin expecting a child? Since they first met on Bachelor in Paradise, Kaylin Miller-Keys and Dean Unglert have been supported by fans. After dating for a while, Dean eventually asked her to marry him. He had long been opposed to marriage altogether. It had been over a year since they got married. Fans are thrilled and wondering if Kaylin is pregnant after she shared an Instagram story on Friday morning. What was it she shared? To learn more, continue reading. Are Dean and Kaylin expecting a child? Kaylin Millerkees and Dean Unglert, a pair whom fans of Bachelor in Paradise adore, have been together since 2019. Together and separately, they have accomplished a great deal in their lives. They have previously discussed the possibility of starting a family. Is it already time? They both adopted the last name Bell after getting married. It was the maiden name of Dean's mother. Kaylin Bell posted something on Instagram stories on Friday that has Bachelor Nation talking. She has prenatal vitamins in her hand. Every morning, she wrote, at needed prenatal. At the end, Kaylin included a pink heart emoji. It is impossible for fans to not speculate if Kaylin is attempting to conceive or if she is already pregnant. Many Reddit users commented on Kaylin's post. Her DMs from interested admirers have undoubtedly been exploding. Reddit users discussed the picture and its possible meaning. Does Kaylin Bell use them for health reasons, is she attempting to conceive, or is she pregnant? Fans said the following. No, probably trying and earning money. I don't intend to become pregnant at all, but I do take prenatals. Even if you're not trying to become pregnant, they're fantastic. However, they might be. I continue to take my prenatals even though I haven't gotten pregnant in five years. Excellent for mental health, hair, and everything else. However, I do believe she is TTC. In an attempt to conceive, I have been taking prenatal vitamins for a year. For optimal effects, it is advised that you begin taking it three months prior to beginning any attempts. If Kaylin was truly pregnant, I doubt she would publish this without announcing it. It appears that the majority of fans concur that Kaylin is probably not pregnant. Everyone is now questioning whether she is merely pushing their product or whether they are attempting to conceive. How do you feel about Kaylin sharing that photo online? Is a little Kaylin and Dean coming soon, in your opinion? For more information on all of your Bachelor Nation favorites, stay tuned. Better than a Golden Globe is Rob Lowe's response to being Joan Vasso's celebrity crush. On the Golden Bachelorette, Joan Vasso's discovered the one, but she would sacrifice everything for Rob Lowe. In an episode of Jimmy Kimmel Live. Earlier this year, Joan, 61, talked about her time as an extra in the film St. Elmo's Fire and said she has had a huge celebrity crush on Rob, 60, ever since. Would you exchange Rob Lowe for whoever you chose on The Golden Bachelor, yet? Joan said, in one second, in response to Jimmy Kimmel's question. Joan shrugged and taunted, can you blame me, as the audience erupted in cheers. As he prepared for the season finale of The Golden Bachelorette, Rob posted a snippet of the interview on Instagram on Wednesday and November 13. Rob's mouth drops in the video before he declares, I could be the Golden Bachelor. That's better than a Golden Globe, I think, the actor joked. Cheryl Burkoff joyfully reminded Rob's Instagram followers in the comments area that they have been married since 1991. She wrote, he's taken smiling face with hearts. John Owen, 29, and Matthew, 31, are the couple's sons. Rob's younger kid commented, you gotta chill out man, as a light-hearted warning regarding the video. Joan said during her appearance on Kimmel that Rob was aware of her crush because of an Entertainment Tonight interview she had done. Later, Rob was spotted by the same outlet on the red carpet, and they asked him if he had any advice for Joan prior to her reality TV search for love. Someone who makes you chuckle. In addition to being accurate, such response is also quite safe, he said. During the first season of The Golden Bachelor, which aired last fall, fans got to know Joan. She made an early connection with lead Jerry Turner, but she ultimately sent herself home early to be with her daughter, who had just given birth. 
In May, Joan was declared the first Golden Bachelorette, and in September, her season aired. She accepted a proposal from frontrunner Chalk Chapel at Wednesday's finale. Before he proposed, she remarked, I thought I saw a future with you from our first date in Disneyland, and it's the first time I pictured a future with anybody else in a really long time. Before his death in 2021, Joan was married to her late husband John for 32 years. In their first interview together, Joan exclusively told us weekly, we both love the energy in the city and love that there's always something to do. All we want to do is go out and explore the world, visit interesting eateries, and experience the culture. There, we both have buddies. The finest time to visit New York City is over the holidays, which is when we will be there. It's simply a very different life than either of us has ever experienced, in my opinion. The 61-year-old Chalk went on to say that he and Joan are prepared to navigate their new chapter with their families in tow. We're open to visiting each person's hometown. We'll be in New York City for a long time, he remarked. We will move on with our lives. Completed and completed Rachel Kirk Connell and Bachelor Matt James have no future at all, and he will never appear on the show again. After declaring his love for the Bachelor candidate in the finale, the 29-year-old talked candidly about his choice to break up with her. The series star Rachel, 24, was the recipient of Matt's final rose as the show came to a close. Additionally, despite the fact that Matt claimed he could not imagine his life without Rachel when they departed in a committed relationship, they have since broken up. The former Bachelor discussed his choice to break things off after Rachel's racism scandal on the Bill Simmons podcast. Matt described how it transpired and said that he didn't give the racist accusations about his girlfriend any thought until the first week of February, which was two months after the show's filming was finished. He continued by saying that everything came to a head at that moment and that he was unable to stop rumors on social media. He stated, I'm taking everything with a grain of salt because you don't want to believe that someone understands your person better than you do. It simply smashes ahead as it keeps rolling out. It kept coming up again and again, and when Rachel's statement addressed it formally, it was a devastating blow. Many people thought that Matt and Rachel would reconcile after their breakup, but Matt acknowledged that their relationship was truly ended and that he didn't see them ever getting back together. He stated, I believe that there are a lot of things that we should have discussed with Rachel but didn't. I probably ought to have questioned her more to get more information. I'm allowing her the room to do so. I'm improving myself in the interim. I will not be in a relationship. My only goal is to return to my important work in the community and focus on initiatives that will enhance all of the work I've been doing in the city, as well as particular interest projects that I enjoy outside of reality TV. Matt went on to say that while he had no regrets about being on the show, he would never do so again.